Unity Virtual Production Episode 7. Why I switched to iPhone after 12 years of Android. The first Android phone, my first smartphone, was a Motorola Droid, which I got in, I believe, 2008. So for 12 years, I have been an Android fanboy. And now, as you can see, I have an iPhone. I have talked about in the previous episodes, if you've been watching, about why I chose this phone and all of its capabilities that will enable us to do incredible things in virtual production. Now, a big thing is, it's been four years since I bought a new camera for my work. And because film is kind of dead, movie theaters are dying, it's kind of painfully, I have to be aware that this is really the future of cameras. What I'm filming on right now is my older camera and it doesn't do nearly as much as what this does and yet it fits in my pocket. Crazy. So let me break down the 12 main reasons why I switched from Android to iPhone. The first one is the camera hole. My previous phone has been a Samsung Galaxy S8. It has a top bar and it has no camera hole. On the Samsung S20, it has this little pinhole and I just can't get over it. I do not like the pinhole design at all. And if I'm watching a full screen video, I feel that the pinhole is just ultimately distracting. I'd rather have an unobstructed, fully square video. Now, what I do say is that the iPhone does have a notch, but it's elegant. It's a nice notch. The second reason for choosing this phone is the LiDAR scanner. The LiDAR scanner on this phone is not the first of a smartphone, but it's the first of a big brand doing a big flagship smartphone. And because it's Apple and because of what they've done with AR Foundation, they are heavily, heavily investing in this technology, which means that it will be used in the future. The next reason I'm using this is because of the three camera design. Now, coincidentally, a large camera manufacturer, Canon, came up with this idea almost 80, 100 years ago. So it's not new, it's not revolutionary, and it's appalling that Canon doesn't realize that they could make a point and shoot camera with this type of functionality, maybe this, this size, the size of a GoPro, and dominate the market. The fourth reason I'm choosing this camera is the ability to film multiple inputs at the same time. With Filmic Pro, I'm going to film with the wide lens and the telephoto lens at the same time. I can film an interview and then later on decide to cross cut or to choose which camera lens at what time I want to use. The fifth reason I chose the new iPhone is because I wanted to switch it up. I've been using Android for 12 years and I know the ins and outs and I wanted to try out iPhone and switch it up. The sixth reason I chose the iPhone is the screen is really bright and it's really, really big. This screen is epic. Number seven on my list is 10-bit video. This is the first camera phone to have 10-bit video from 8-bit. The difference is really big. You get so many more colors and a better visual experience shooting in 10-bit. The eighth reason I'm choosing this is because of the AR tech is something that Apple cares about. The augmented reality technology, as I said, AR foundation, something that Unity is totally ready to hook up to. All of that is very exciting. The ninth reason I'm choosing this is the Filmic Pro app. The Filmic Pro app is really awesome. It's available on Android. However, the, all the other things that go with the phone, I gotta choose with it. Uh, the Filmic app does a very good job of giving me professional tools to use just on my smartphone. It's fantastic. The 10th reason I'm choosing the iPhone is the screen mirroring. So I'm gonna be able to use this on set as my main camera, and then the video feed will go wirelessly to somebody else who can watch at the same time. And that technology is a bit better than what's available on the Android. 
The 11th reason I'm choosing this is the optical stabilized sensor. This is a first on a phone and it's a huge leap towards a better image from the sensor. If I'm on a tripod, I turn it off, but if I'm just taking a photo, it's gonna be just so much better to have the sensor be able to correct my jitters because it's just such a small area. And that optical image stabilization is really incredible to find on a phone. I'm very excited about that. These sensors are brand new. It's something that camera companies will make a new sensor and not upgrade it for many, many years. Having a brand new sensor in this phone is a big leap forward. It captures a lot more low light. The sensors are much larger than before. And then the final reason why I'm choosing this phone is because the best camera is the one that you have. The best camera is the one in your pocket. So this is just a fun video talking about the hardware and why I chose this. And in future episodes, we're gonna talk more about the software and implementing this in the virtual world. So stick around for the next video and thanks for watching.